I'm working out with my husband for the first time since our wedding. Or I think he, you worked out with me one time on the honeymoon. Two times. <laughs> one time. His beard is gone. It we, is... We, we had a wardrobe malfunction and it had to go temporarily. <laughs> He'll come back. The, he went to go get his hair cut and his beard trimmed at his barber and it was done uneven. So like one side was all cut off and the other side was all thick. So he's just like, screw this and he shaved it all off. I usually don't work out till like either in the afternoon or in the evening. But um, I wanted to work out with Jim before he went to work. So I woke up nice and early. <sighs> and that's it. We should take the stairs because these elevators are taking forever. I never mentioned it on camera yet. I just mentioned it on Instagram that I chopped off my hair. I cut about five inches off because my hair was like past my boobs. Now it's above my boobs. So... Oh, coming, coming. What is this orb? A ghost. Oh man, I look tired. So, um, okay, so since I've started my diet bet, I've lost four pounds, which is great. But then um, this past weekend, my cheat meal turned more into like a cheat weekend. So I'm really worried that I won't be able to make my 4%. I have another week to go to lose another, I believe like 3.8 pounds or so. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Like, I'm, you guys on Instagram are like, oh my God, it's amazing how you're right back on track and you're just doing it. You're, you're right there. You picked it, you picked up right where you left off. No, not quite. Like, um, I struggled for a long time getting back on track. If you watch like my previous videos, you'll know I continued the just eating whatever I wanted, not working out thing. Now for the last like two, three weeks, I've been on track based on like during the week, I've eaten my healthy meals and I've worked out a few times a week, but still when the weekends come, it seems like it's a free for all. It seems like I forget everything. It seems like I'm on vacation mode again. Um, yeah, the junk food and all the sodium and just like horrible food that I've been consuming on the weekends has changed my stomach big time and you just can't see it because it's under clothes, like I'm not naked on camera. But yeah, I'm really like, like I know that once I completely start yeah. eating clean again and get all the junk out of my system, then I'll start, like my, the bloating will go down. But yeah, it's so huge. It's unrecognizable to me. But I'm glad I lost the four pounds. But definitely if I wasn't, you know, indulging over the weekends, then those four pounds would have probably, you know, been six or eight pounds. So I cannot, like everything you're doing, you can always do better. Um, I, I don't like to do like completely 100% strict. But I, like, I personally like to find a healthy balance, and my healthy balance is eating healthy, exercising, drinking water, green tea, and then having one cheat meal, usually on Saturday. So I'm almost there. I'm almost there. All I'm doing different now, which is preventing me from making the progress that I was used to before, is the fact that I'm usually eating junk Saturday and Sunday, and sometimes even Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So gotta get to it. Jim started his workout so I'm going to um, join him now. Start off with weights. I always start off with weights just because once I finish cardio I'm too exhausted to like lift any weights. So I start off with weights, finish off with cardio and then get the heck out of the gym. I'm just doing the elliptical today. I haven't done the 
the elliptical in what seems like forever. Um, my favorite's the treadmill, and the second is the stepper. Um, but I used to do the elliptical all the time when I first started because it was the easiest to arm my joints. So I'm doing it now, but I'm doing it at level 10, which makes it like a hard resistance, so you get a better workout. You're working more of your muscles and you're burning way more calories. Jim, what is this on the table here? Guys. Jim made actual food it and looks, not just cereal. It looks punes, but I used two eggs and a slice of ham. Two eggs, <laughs> ham, toast. Why just one slice of toast? Because I'm not fe feeling two slices of toast. Hot, mm, hot sauce. Smells delicious. I'm very I proud put, of I you. I put some oregano. I put some pepper. I was easy on the salt because I used the hot sauce. So I've learned something. <laughs> proud of you. It's not cereal. <laughs> Looks so good. What's the verdict of your first meal? I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> There's hope yet. So I'm gonna send Jim to work with a little bit of protein powder that he can have a little bit later. And with your lunch. Oh, I should show you what I packed for Jim's lunch. So he has Three um, cheddar rice cakes. They're like, I don't know, 35 or 45 calories each. He has the most delicious looking plum. Okay. So I sent him with a chicken burger. But I didn't put the toppings in there because then it'll get soggy. So in a separate container, I put his sliced tomatoes and hot peppers that he's going to put in his burger. And then I have ketchup and mustard that he's going to spoon onto his burger. So his burger's ready. And then I made him a side salad. Who else uses their, like, these containers that take out containers? I do. With sun-dried tomato dressing. So, and also your protein powder that you're going to have as a snack. So, hopefully you enjoy your lunch. I always wait patiently until, like... When I know it's his lunch time, and I always wait for that text. That text that says, oh, lunch was really good, babe, thanks. I always get excited. But now he knows what's in there. Usually it's a surprise. Well, I was last night because I was paying attention when you were packing. Usually you don't, so it's a surprise. Yeah. Wow, you inhaled that. I was hungry. Okay, so I'm going to make my own little breakfast egg McMuffin thingy. So I just toasted a whole wheat English muffin. It's about 130 calories for that. And I'm going to put one egg in the microwave and I'm going to microwave it in this little container so it's like roughly like a formed size. I can't explain. You'll see. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of cooking spray so it doesn't stick because it sticks so bad in plastic. my egg in there. Just beat it up a little bit. Put a little bit of sea salt. A little bit of pepper. So I'm just going to put it in the microwave. It usually starts to like um, rise, but once you turn the microwave off, it deflates again. I'm going to put it for about a minute and check. You can't even tell, but it's completely like risen above the plastic. But as soon as I stop it, it'll go down. So it seems like a minute should work. I'm just going to check if it's 
got any runniness in it and if it does I'll put it in for longer but I think it'll be fine see how it like shrivels down and wrinkles again perfect okay so it's the perfect uh, yeah one minute was perfect it completely cooked it's like a patty in the shape of a patty and uh, if I had some cheese I probably would put it I'm just gonna put my lettuce down my egg down and I'm gonna put a little bit of hot sauce on my egg and a tomato and there you go okay so I'm gonna eat my delicious looking uh, egg McMuffin there's so much hot sauce lots of hot sauce um, and then I'm probably going to like do a hair mask on my hair and shower and then after about an hour have my berry banana protein shake so let's try this see how good it is oh yeah the only thing that would make this any better would be probably some cheddar cheese but this is much healthier and less calories so i ain't mad mm -hmm. oh god this literally took me two minutes because it took a minute to beat up the egg and cut my tomato and then a minute in the microwave. Why do you need McDonald's? Jim's staring at me like I'm nuts. You're not eating McDonald's. I said, why do you need McDonald's when you can make it oh, for three cents at home? I much healthier. You're eating, you're eating Jennifer's. <laughs> that sounds gross. So good. No, you're, no. All the hot sauce. But it's a perfect amount. Not too much. I don't like putting it too hot because then my mouth just burns. Yeah. It does. It takes the, uh, takes the flavor away from the rest of the ingredients. I prefer when it's balanced. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. I'll see you soon. You can see Oliver in the mirror. He's like, what are you doing? Um, okay, so I'm going to do a hair mask. Um, I know that a really good hair mask is coconut oil mixed with honey as well as apple cider vinegar. And those three components are like super amazing at moisturizing and repairing and all that stuff. But I don't have, I live with a Greek. I don't have any honey left. I have that shit and it's done in a day. So I have no honey. I have no apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to use my coconut oil. And actually, that's pretty much all gone too. So I just got this um, coconut oil from Costco, it's like a big tin, and there's still some down here. So I'm just going to use whatever I got and put it in my hair. And I'm just going to leave it in for as long as I feel like it. 20 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever. I'm just going to brush it out first because it'll be easier. Yeah, so now that my hair got a nice healthy cut, I want to maintain it. Oh, this feels so weird.
Okay, no, 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 stay. He sees all the coconut oil falling on the floor. And he wants to eat it. No, 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 no. making my delicious blueberry banana protein shake. It's so good. So excited. So I'm just going to drink this and get a little bit of work done. Let's try this bad way. Oh my God, never fails. Always so, so good. Yummy. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower not too long ago. Um, I left the mask in my hair for about an hour and I washed it twice, like I soaped it twice because um, the first time didn't get all the oil out enough. So yeah, and then it was nice as the, the oil was like coming out of my hair, it was coating my body. And now my skin feels so moisturized and so smooth, so nice. Um, yeah, and I had to wear flip-flops in the shower so that I wasn't slipping and sliding from the oil getting under my feet. <sighs> but yeah, well, I really, really liked when I got out of the shower and I brushed my hair, like my brush went right through so smooth. Usually I'm in tears with how naughty my hair is. So I really think that my haircut and this mask really really helped and I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep up trimming and I'm gonna keep up doing masks because I really want to repair um, the damage from all the years of coloring. So I won't know fully like how the mask, like what the mask did until my hair is fully dry because that's when my hair is really crunchy and frizzy um, and feels really dry because yeah. So it already feels like super, super smooth and the pieces that are kind of drying here feel really smooth compared to how it how it did before, but who knows, I'll wait till it's dry and I'll let you know in the next vlog. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually end the vlog now for two reasons. One reason is because I looked at all the footage and I have a shit ton of footage and um, even too long for a long vlog, so um, I'm gonna end it now. And second reason is because usually when I take you all the way into the evening, then once Jim gets home from work, that's when I'm editing and uploading and creating thumbnails and I'm, we're not really like talking or spending time together, I'm just working. He won't be home for like another few hours, so I'll have enough time to edit this vlog, create the thumbnail, upload it, get it all ready to go, and yeah, as soon as he gets home, we can eat dinner and just to spend time together. I hope you enjoyed spending most of the day with me. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out, um, helps to grow my channel. If you wanna share any of your favorite videos, um, that would be super, super helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys.